time. So we're going to talk more about the um, water-cooled RTX 3080. This is the Aorus RTX 3080. I installed this about two days ago. It's water-cooled. So it's the first time I'm using the water-cooled uh, GPU and I am amazed. It's a game changer. It's running so cool. It's I, the temperature is it's been running for two days non-stop in this rig and the temperature has not gone above 45 degrees it's it's a really cheap system that I bought all of this stuff on Amazon for it there's two fans and a wa water reservoir and then just these normal pipes and uh, it's been working super good and I bought these at uh, Micro Center. This is like two dollars fifty cents. Uh, you add it in one liter of uh, distilled water. I'm going to install another one now, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so let's get to it. I have this Gigabyte GeForce 3080. It's a bit different from the Aorus one. Uh, the, that's the water force. So previously had the box opening of that one. I'm also going to show uh, using Hive OS. I'm going to show on Hive OS the temperatures and how it's running. It's running at overclock and it's been running for two days and the temperature has not gone above 46 degrees. Uh, it is really good. So this one, I guess it's going to be, uh, I'm going to install it on this other side. Technically I don't need a separate water reservoir for each one, but since it's this was, I just wanted to test it for the first time, um, I'm going to have separate water reservoirs and separate uh, cooling fans for both of them, however you can have a big a uh, water reservoir that by this is about 200 ml water reservoir you can have a liter up to a liter water reservoir and you can run your entire rig from one water reservoir and one of those bigger fans and just that's it and I, I also personally think that it, it would use less electricity too because it's not using as many fans and uh all of that so I think it's I think this I really like this water force system and I'm liking how it's running so far. So yeah let's get started on the next one. actually going to turn off the system. Okay, so that's powered off. So here is the cooling fan that I'm using. It's it's big. It doesn't need to be this big. This can work for. I think it can easily go for three, four GPUs. So it's just intake, outtake. The water goes from here and comes out, and uh, so this should work pretty well for at least three, four. Uh, GPUs. It has two fans. I bought it on Amazon, so I'll put the link with the video. 
the ones I used for this one are actually smaller, but I used two. <coughs> yeah, from now on, I think I'm going to just buy water, water cold GPUs, because they just work so much better. They do not produce any heat. They use less electricity, and uh, they overall they run cooler. You can also buy these uh, th these cooling water cooling systems and add it to the other GPUs. You can remove the fans and uh, the heat sink instead, and use these. I, I don't personally like doing that because that's a lot of work. I would rather not take out the sink and heat sink and add a whole new heat sink and all that. I just personally feel like that's a lot of work for me and I'm also wasting the heat sink and the fans that it already has and then I'm spending up to $100 to $150 additional on a GPU while I can actually go and buy these that are already um, that already have water cooled heat sinks. So let's so here I've just installed the water reservoir. I've connected it with these uh, it has these hooks and then I've connected those hooks with just zip ties. These are the in and out for the water. And then I have the fan that also has the in and out for the water. Um, I have a screw that goes in here. And the rest I'm going to connect with the zip ties. Solid. And, uh, okay, now it's time to connect all the pipes and then we should be ready. So you're also going to need two of these joints, they're straight joints, and they go in the GPU so that you can connect. Um, the pipes to it, they go right here. So these already have the joints, so you don't need them, but the GPU doesn't, so you need these straight joints. You can find them on Amazon or you can also find them at um, Micro Center. They go right up here, they just screw in, screw in. Pretty easy. And tighten them a little bit, not too much. I don't like to tighten it too hard. It has, a, it has a rubber part, so that should be good for stopping any leaks. Okay, that looks fairly tight. Now, I have this pipe. Really long, 50 feet. And I bought it and um, I bought it from Amazon. And then you keep using it for ever. It's gonna cut that this much. And The pipe is not too hard. I would have liked it to be a little bit harder, but it's not, which is kind of fine, but I think I would have liked it to be 
because then, you know, it doesn't bend over. Okay, and I have these small zip ties that I can uh, just tie it right here so it doesn't come off or leak. Pretty good. Okay. I just want to be sure that these are. Is it time just to be extra cautious? They are real time to spend six hours Never leak. Just in case. Just gonna be talking for sure. Now, time to fill it up with water and connect all the cables. So, I'm gonna add the distilled water to this. You can't use regular water because that has electrolytes that can short circuit. Again, this requires for $2.50 and you can add it to a liter of water. This water looks pretty good. So time to connect all the power cables and dry that up.
kind of jerry rigging this, but uh, I think it should work. I'll fix it later, but for now I'm just going to do it like this, just to get it running. Okay. So that's connected. The last thing I need to connect is the GPU itself. And I'm going to connect these eight pin cables top here. Okay, it's all connected. Let's get it running. So initially you run it, when you run it, you keep this hole open because any of the air that's sitting in there will come out. And then uh, fill it up. Okay, so this one pan is running, but the other one is not. It's probably because something's up with the cables. Yeah. Try to forge these up. Okay, so they're both running now. And uh, yeah. There are no leaks whatsoever. All the air came out. So. 